sir. How are you? How are you? Good, thank you. Are you? Have one? Of what I handed out, I hand wrote in on a couple. I didn't get to do it on all of them. On top of this, before zero to two years service, right in, if it's not handwritten in, freeze the starting salary for three years. What was nice to see from your proposal this morning is that we're, we're thinking in, in the same box. Okay, I, I, I recognize that you're dealing with a pool of money. What, I do want to know or need to know what was the cost of the 20.5 in the new B proposal? Because you just redivided 3%, so it should be the same. It should be 450, right? We calculated it out. I think it comes out to being 3.05, something like that. Four, four. It's still within the range of 3%, and that's where we are. We can't go over 3%. What we have, I appreciate the fact that we're, you know, looking at the same thing, but we can't change the pot of money we have to work with. It's, it's still 3% pot of money. And so the way we broke it out and the reason why we're able to get to six for the officers that have been here a long time is because we have hired a very large number of officers in the last year. And that's why I think we've, it's 75 this year that we've hired. So that's how we're able to get to six for the officers who have been here for over 15 years. We can't, with the proposal that you have we can't get there. We're still at the 3% money. We can talk about how to split it up and a better way to work it, but we can't change the money we have. And if you're following that bill, it's already passed the House, it's in the Senate now, where they're going to take 10 to 20% of our referendum money that we, the voters approved here, and require us to give it to charter schools. So that is a huge hit to our budget. Um, <coughs> and we would not be responsible with the taxpayers' money to agree to something beyond what we had already put aside, given the fact that we could be, um, we could have a, a substantial hole that we're going to have to fill because we still have to perform the functions and do the things that were required, like that referendum, you know, that pays for about 600 um, phys ed art music teachers. So we'd still have to pay for that somehow. We'd still have to have officers in every school. We'd still have to do the hardening of the security. and. That money's going to come from somewhere. We'd like to give you the 3% while we still have it. Um, because if this bill passes, we're going to be in lit litigation with this issue, and it's going to be a large hit to our budget. I don't know how much exactly, but Mr. Burke could speak to that, of how much losing that referendum money could cost. Well, there's, you know, we're required to share with charter schools based on the enrollment. They represent about 11% of our district. Uh, the referendum is supposed to bring in about $200 million a year, so there'd be about $22 million a year or $88 million over four years. Uh, but there's going to be some legal implications I can't even really speak to yet because the law, they're basically trying to change the law retroactively that would make our ballot question that was approved last November uh, invalid, right. that you don't even have the option to, uh, to focus the money just on district-operated schools. So, we're kind of in, a, in flux right now. Legislature's, you know, wrapping up their session here in the next couple of days, and we'll know more. But just there's so no you good know, news coming out. Just so you know, I, I hear you. Just yeah. so you know how we devised these. At one of the last sessions, Mr. Burke indicated that that extra, that 3% is $450,000. To get us to the 6% is another four hundred and fifty thousand dollars we took we fashioned this scale that we that i've dropped off to each one as uh using that money but less so you'll see that this is not six um if you add it up and if you look at the membership you'll be talking about in the five range so we have come down. I recognize that you're at three and that's the pool. 
$450,000 to get to six does not, I recognize that, you know, that, that there are teachers and cafeteria workers and bus drivers, and I know that there is a budget, but I, I have to feel at some point there needs to be some recognition for the people that serve and put their lives on the line every day. And that's the argument you had last year, and that's why your unit got five and everybody else got three. We funded the other 2%. Well, but the, you, you funded it for one year, Alex. But we it funded was one it. year, and so that's, but it's a recurring cost. I understand, but so we still funded it. So for one year you funded it, but we still are carrying the 5%, so this year it's the We're full funded. freight. We're funding it. You are funded it for one year, and that was it. We're funding it now. Well, so It's I only mean, been one year, so we funded correct. it. Correct. But we're fun that was ended July or January 1st of 19. So that year has passed. We're now into the new contract year. We are funding that full amount. Well, that's so that argument just doesn't hold water after the first year. Okay, well, that's why in our proposal, we, st we propose to, to, start, to, to freeze the starting salary for three years, which, will, uh, which addresses the, the compression issue from between the, the, the future hirees to the new hirees, and it saves the district money. Uh, you have a budget of uh, hiring of over 100 officers within the next two to three years, so that's, that's saving you 3% on 100 offices for the next three years. If you did the math, it comes out to about the same as what we're proposing and just a different type of uh, uh Well, it really wording. doesn't, we, only we, because once they're hired, they're in our system. The starting salary is the starting salary, and as they're here, if we did something like this next year, they'd be entitled to an increase based on, like, the proposals we both have shared. And I guess I'm a little confused because we heard at the last session, the session before, have how hard it is to hire officers. So if we freeze our starting salary, aren't we setting ourselves up to, you know, two years from now, hearing we can't hire new officers because our starting salary is so low? We, you also would have heard that we want to have retention and that it's important to have experienced officers and that people have who have been here for, I mean, I guess, six to 20 years of service. I mean, they need to be rewarded and they need to stay and you want them to stay. I'm glad you addressed the compression and I'm glad you reallocated to show a commitment to that. Um, we, we need to get a little further. We came down, those numbers, and th that was difficult. I had to get with the reps who all had a different idea of how we can resolve this. We're not that far apart. I mean, we're not, you know, we're not at 10. Okay, I was originally at six, this is less. And this addresses, this is the one proposal that we all sat down on, on the PBA side and everybody could live with. Because each one of these guys kind of, you know, not formally, but informally represents a different faction of the membership. So everybody, you know, has a say. This is the one that everyone could live with. And not that we're financing it, and that, that it is a straight increase to recognize the years of service and the commitment to this agency and maybe to attract some more. Yes, you got where we're, we recognize that we're freezing the starting salary. That's part of it. That's part of it. But that will help to get us to these numbers that will get us a contract and be done. We've also acknowledged that the starting salary in this department is, is decent. The starting salary is decent. We've both sides acknowledged it already. So acknowledging that and moving forward to, to address the other issues, the compression issue, and not having us self-funded without 3%, this is a way to do it. And it's a way for you to save money and to address the, the issue that the district created. Once again, this membership didn't create this compression issue. And you're going to continue to create it by offering the same salary increase that you're giving the, the veteran officer, the, the, the on-duty officer, to the unborn yet. That's, there's not going to be any difference. By, by, by freezing the starting salary, you're going to at least, at least uh, create a, a difference of a 3% between today's officer and tomorrow's officer once this contract gets ratified. So there's going to be already a 3% difference in salary, opposed to starting, hiring a guy tomorrow and having him start off the same thing as these guys have been here for two years. So we're never going to be addressing this compression issue until we start freezing the salary and, 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 and causing and, and giving a, a larger sum to the to the veteran officers that have been here already.
I can't believe we would be at impasse for a little more than 2%. We have one pot of money. And I, I don't know how many more times we can say it. We've said it with, we're in bargaining with oh, well, all our units. Well, you said we have an ongoing responsibility to continue bargaining. We do. Okay. So, I, I mean, that's your position. I understand your position. We're here in an effort to get a little closer because I know you have one pot of money, but I also know that things get done in terms of dividing it. And that's what we're talking about now. You came back with something that was a great effort to divide it and addressing a substantive issue for us, which is the compression. And the people that have been here long, this is, what you gave is terrific. It's not enough, we're almost there. We're almost there. And I'll be able at the end of this to show at least the seasoned group that they're appreciated, that they should be retained, that their longevity has been addressed. And all of these guys are fine with it. They represent, you know, well over 100 members at this point, do you not? Um, I don't be, know. I, I, be close that's to where we are. Well, I think we're going to need a minute to caucus, so if you wouldn't mind stepping out. Yeah, so sure. We'll get together. Sure. Thank you.